I'm totally prepared for this. Ah. I've got a cameraman. Oh, time. hi. Yeah, yeah, we have no cameraman today because I thought that, to, like, on Friday, I thought that Monday was Adelaide Cup Day. So I was all like, hey, camera guy, uh, Josh, isn't he? Yes. I forgot his name. He's only, he's only been here for one day. I was like, hey, man, don't worry, don't worry about Monday. We'll see you on Tuesday. And then it turns out that it was not Adelaide Cup Day today and he's not here. Anyway, Mark Trumworth, come and sit down with me. Yo, fucker. Yo, yo, what's up? That's how I talk now. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Uh, say hi to the internet. Hey internet. Hey, That's internet. where all these people are. Yeah. Instead of coming to the show, they went to the internet today. Oh, wow. It's fine, whatever. It's no biggie. Hey, go, man. Yeah, let's see that. Good. You are at Rhino because you're taking your show for tomorrow, right? You start tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exciting. It's pretty exciting. Are you stressed? Yeah, I'm peaking. Is there like anywhere else you'd rather be but here? As in right on this stage right now. Yeah, you? like just wasting time for, for a mate because he asked you to. It has that feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose it's good it gets your mind off it, doesn't it? It's, um, but you should probably be focusing on it at the moment. I know. How are you going? How's it going? Are you, are you quite confident? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Like It's, um, it, it's a really uh, silly, fun, stupid show. Mm. So um, I, think, um, I think people will enjoy it. <laughs> Sweet. I'm worried about it not being funny. Always, yeah, mm. but it will be. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we we, we used to live together, mm. like uh, for a year. Mm. That was fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was alright. <laughs> um, and now, so what happened is that we, we moved to Melbourne together, and then um, I came back here to get married and live, uh, and you were gonna stay there, but then you wanted you moved out of the house, and you live with a deaf guy now. Yeah. What's his name? Michael. I like that's the funniest part. What's his name? <laughs> his name? <laughs> but I know nothing about this because I like we were like in each other's yeah. lives for a year, and then like I had to leave and have a wedding and shit, and then so, we like hardly ever spoken now. I don't. So who's the new Jason? It's that's what fucking hilarious asking, that you just yeah. moved in with a deaf dude because. Well, the thing is, he lives next door. Like, yeah, um, and he lives like you can see our old kitchen from, from your room. My, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see our old because what happened was when you moved out, like uh, it was just a nightmare trying to get someone else mm. in. Like I saw like a lot of thirteen jerks. people. Yeah, you saw like a lot of quarters of them. A lot of Canadians for some reason. Was it? Or was just one guy who was really arrogant? Well, there was that. Yeah, there was. But the thing is, I would have lived with any of them, but no one wanted the place. <laughs> it was because a shithole. It was terrible because it was the, one of the worst places I reckon I've ever seen mm. for the price. I think that's mm. why we I couldn't get anyone in there. I think that's why we got the place. We yeah. Like, only wanted to apply. And so I just realised that after seeing like 13 people, I realised it's going to be my full time job I'm trying to get people mm. to actually live in there. And I was like, I can't just do this like all the time. This cannot be my life. And I found out that the place next door was about, I was like, I'm just going to go in there. I mean, I meant I had to pay like three rooms of rent for a month. Yeah. But it was like. So is it nice in our place? Yeah, it's a lot nicer. And it's cheaper. Fuck. It's cheaper. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it have mold in the cupboard? Does it ruin your nah. clothes like mine? Then? Nah, no mold. God damn. Does it have iron marks on the carpet? Well, our place didn't have iron marks either. So yeah, we Yeah. Now there's iron marks on the carpets. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We didn't get our bond back. All of it. Um. So, so, what is it like living with a deaf dude? It's awesome because he's so quiet, <laughs> and you could be as loud as you want. I would. I would have thought you would be heaps louder because he would done already know. Oh, because he wouldn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. No, he, um, but I guess he doesn't listen to music and the, stuff. No, well the weird thing is he like, obviously you know has the teletext on the TV. Yeah. But he also turns the sound down. Oh. So I don't know. I don't quite understand that. Like I don't know why. Is he fully he, deaf? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you guys communicate? He lip reads. What does he talk like? <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> the, 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 okay, so we're we're on the same page then. <laughs> does he does he talk like that? My willpower is amazing today. I know. Because we, I was, from the we're all he said right deaf there. guy, I was ready. Does he talk like the deaf guy in Family Guy? That's my direct question to you. I guess, imagine if Chewbacca tried to speak English. It's kind of <laughs> like, it's a little bit like that, but right? it's hairy. Yeah, right. But he is lovely. But like you can he, talk to him and stuff. He, like, you can understand it. It's difficult, oh. right? Because you do, you do end up having to sort of repeat. The frustrating thing is, like, I have to repeat the same thing over and over and over again. You, and can't, you can't yell out from another room, too. You've got to, like, go there, tap him on the shoulder. He's got to look at you before you can talk. Yeah, but you can't even knock on his door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you, don't, you never know you need to talk to him. You don't know what's going on behind there. So you sort of just have to wait for him to come out. Oh. But the thing is, like, I when I want to say something to oh, him, no. often I will just repeat the same thing like three or four times. If my girlfriend is there, she'll say it, and he understands her perfectly. 
So what? he understands her, but he can't understand me. And so quite often... But if anyone is more anime... Like really thin lips. Do I? have got thin lips. Got thin lips. Oh, that might help if you purse them a bit. <laughs> <laughs> or kind of open them like... Yeah. Fish like... Hey. I'm no, so we're horny we're right now. Compliment more like that. I can understand you perfectly. Yeah? Yeah. You're saying <laughs> get on me. Because you just mesmerized. Yeah. Body. You just completely focused. Put it inside. Stuff in time. Yeah, exactly. My mouth. Good lord. Right, um, so it is good? It's working out alright? Yeah. You're happier yeah, than you are in our shit hole? It's oh it's interesting because you know he's so quiet. I suppose it's like a perfect housemate Ooh. because you've got the company. But it's like having a cat. Yeah, kind of right. It's totally yeah. It's like having a cat, but um, you, but he kind of demands the food that you eat, so you can't yeah. just give him snap and dump. But he can also it. feed himself. Like if a cat could feed itself, it would be it's, yeah. It's like it'd be like living with a deaf itself. roommate. Yeah, it's but so you sweet. also have to pay money to it. Oh yeah, that's true. No, that's cool. You don't pay money to your cat. Do you? I don't have a cat. I got asked the question again last night. Can we have a cat? I'm allergic to cats. Cats will kill me. And I keep ask, getting asked the question, can we get a cat one day? I'm gonna ask if you could have a rabbit. A rabbit's okay. Yeah, aren't they boring? <laughs> rabbits shit. Well, you can hold them upside down and they kind of fall asleep and stuff. And you can... <laughs> they're pretty cute. We have a rat. Yeah. It's like a small rabbit with small ears. <laughs> it is a bit, they've got the same like <laughs> teeth. Like all the... <laughs> I can't remember which way the teeth go. But they bite you on the knob. They were bitten <laughs> on the knob by the rat once. It's not Why important. Would it even been It was just in my. <laughs> ah, that's ah. Why would my brain fail English there? It was just in my lap, and I was wearing boxer shorts, and it just sniffed the knob, and I was like, no. And it went, ah, and it beat me on the knob. Wow. Was it good? Like, was it exciting? It's fucking awesome. It smelled cheese. <laughs> I had just woken up. Um, Anyway, you just need to attach like a little like mousetrap you know, wherever you go. Or if my balls were powered by a wheel. <laughs> okay, it's weird, it's weird now, I made it weird. Right, uh, we're gonna play a game with you, dude. Mm. Um, your game is, I think, uh, rapid fire guess who. You're great with impressions, aren't you? You love them. Uh, Cage, what questions, please? Rapid fire guess who. Look, waterproof even today. So you have. Um, six seconds to do as many of those as you can. You don't show me, so you got to hold them close to your chest. Right. Like that. And audience, feel free to yell out if you know who they are as well. Okay, sure. You look so scared and confused right now. <laughs> What's up, man? Because I'm sure I was trying to look for the uh, guess who element. I'm like kind of going. Okay, oh yeah, it's not uh, guess who, is it? Well, we I have, I have to guess who. We guess who you are doing. Understand. Yeah. Understand. It's going to be fun. Your time starts okay. now. All right, go. <laughs> uh, where's my honey? <laughs> oh wow. Anyone? Dave, yes. you look like. Yeah! Got it. Hey dudes, where's my pizza? Here's my nunchucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which one? Oh, Michelangelo. Yeah. That yes. one. Here's my nunchucks. Here's my nunchucks. <laughs> Stay puff. Yes. Wow! <laughs> what? What was that? Humphrey Big Bear. That was a great oh. one. Hey look, it's my magic mushrooms. Mario! Yeah. <laughs> Why is all your voices the same? But look at some of my nunchucks! Okay. Look at some of my magic nunchucks! <laughs> <laughs> it's all like, every impression I do has this. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> I much prefer the other guy with the abs. <laughs> oh, the, the Twilight person. Yes. The woman from. Yes, yes, anyone? The woman. Oh. Wo woman Twilight. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Why did you go past Hitler? I haven't got past him yet. Oh. Okay, you have to finish on a Hitler impression. <laughs> it's Hitler. Hello, would anyone like some tea? Hitler. That's what he said to his mum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. No um, dude, he, like, he, he would have been a well-rounded person. He was. Apparently, he was quite charming. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, like, he helped out at camp quality, stuff like that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. He did like camps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you went there. Why would you... You did that on purpose, you fuckhead. Right. I didn't. I didn't. Plug your show and get back to stressing. So, I'm on 6.15 tomorrow, I open. And yeah. uh, it's called After Dark. Mm -hmm. It's 6.15, which is, uh, yeah, well done. <laughs> it's still light. Yeah, clearly didn't think of the uh, daylight, daylight saving. saving did I? <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. Uh, and why, why, what type of people would like your show? What's that, what type of people would like your show? Um, probably anyone who is really into... Um, 
like stuff. Please thank Mark Drummouth. <laughs> <laughs>